Okay, YouTube, what is up? This is Lee Chips here bringing you a uh, quick commentary. Just kind of filling my places for where I haven't been uploading things, zombies. But, um, this is my friend John playing the Elite Virus. Um, I know I kind of haven't posted gameplays of me, you know, when it comes to multiplayer. But I just really don't like Black Ops. And, um,. So I don't really get gameplays on it. I mean, I do like Black Ops strictly for zombies, and that's pretty much it. But after that, I don't like it. And I do record whenever I play Modern Warfare 2 and stuff like that. But it's just I haven't been playing a lot lately. So, uh, this is just kind of a... I guess you could kind of say like an update video, but not really. But it's just kind of to keep you guys entertained and waiting around for some more zombie stuff. But anyway, I'm not sure what he went. As you can tell, he's already 7-0, like 13 to 8, so... He's raping face over here. But, um, let's see. What can I talk to you guys about? Um, you know, hopefully I can find some more glitches. I mean, I'm still looking for some more stairs to do the stair glitch on, because, you know, who knows where those can get you. And those are really easy to do. Um, biodome glitches, I'll be looking for some of those flying up in the air, landing on stuff, maybe. But, um, I guess besides glitches. I'm just going to be bringing you guys zombie gameplays. I know our friend or our editor is going to be done with the montage soon. I know that he got a new computer and um, it's way faster now so he'll be able to actually do stuff on it. Um, I don't know when it's going to be done. I just know he'll actually be able to get it done. So that's, that's a positive thing. Um, wow. The trailer's been out for a while now, if you haven't checked it out. It's called uh, Black Ops High Caliber Trailer. Looking really beast. So, you guys should hopefully be anticipating that. I know you guys will love it. The editing's going to be great. He's really going all out on it, and I can't wait to see the final product. But, um, anyways, after that, I'm my friend uh, Stetson. His name is Taze Savior. He used to be a famous tap out if you've ever seen me playing in a game with him. Um, He's making a YouTube channel, or he's had one for a little while, but he doesn't have a lot of subscribers. It's uh, called A Famous Clan, and um, he really makes some good videos. I mean, he's new to what he's doing, but um, his quality is getting better and better as each video goes up. So I think you guys should really check him out. Um, I'll put a link in the description to their page. Um, his name is uh, Tay Savior right now, but he used to be A Famous Tap Out, and his channel name, I think, is A Famous Clan. So, just go check them out, give them some support, guys, tell them I sent you. Um, after that, I guess I, I can just talk some Modern Warfare 3. There's been a lot of leaked footage, you know, some a lot of sniper gameplay, um, you know, regular gameplay with guns, some team kill, you know, different game modes, different maps have been shown. It's only about a minute at a time, but it's more than what I expected, honestly. I did not expect to get, you know, every day new gameplay footage even if it is only just a minute at a time but what is going on here is um you know i'm seeing the snipers are looking really nice actually i'm loving the graphics so far and that you know obviously everyone knows that quick scoping is back that's a no brainer right now and um the l96 is back um now some people might be like oh my gosh not the l96 that gun sucked but um if you're thinking that you gotta remember that it, it came from black ops and Black Ops was just a bad game, and they made it suck. Treyarch made the L96 suck. So, I, I mean, I'm still really, I'm kind of excited to see it back, because I think it'll be a great gun, you know, along with the Barrett and whatever that's actually called. But, um, you know, there's the snipers and the, like, uh, I guess the other machine guns. Those are kind of interesting to me. I mean, the, the Red Dot Sights, don't seem anything like they did in Modern Warfare 2. They seem more like COD 4, how they're f more flat with, you know, just regular red dot. But um, I've, some of the gameplay I've seen, it looks like you can actually, like, uh, customize red dot sight like you could previously, you know, in Black Ops. So that's kind of cool. And um, I also think they're doing the same thing as Black Ops did when it comes to the grenades and claymore, so you can have both, you know, instead of just either grenades or claim or you can have both like you can in black ops so that's pretty cool always found that useful but um they, they, 
you know, a lot of people said Modern Warfare 2 was really campy, and, um, you know, they're, I'm, I'm assuming they're trying to stop that in um, Modern Warfare 3 by adding, you know, games like Kill Confirm, so it pretty much prevents camping a lot. But I know they added a new equipment. I don't know what it's called, but it's, it almost looks like a Sam turret, except, like, the top of it is, like, a little ball, and it shoots out any explosives that come near you. So, I mean, if you're, if you found a really good camp spot and you just place that down, you're pretty much set. I mean, if you're not playing Kill Confirmed, at least, because normally whenever I'm playing, and if I'm camping, and, you know, the only thing that's going to take me out is a noob tube. So, <laughs> if they have something to stop noob tubes from hitting you, and, like, grenades and, you know, the explosives, etc., you know. Oh, that seems like it's gonna might be a little bit overpowered, but I'm sure they'll have something to counter it, like, hopefully they'll have something to counter everything. But if they don't, it'll get its complaints, and I'm sure they'll do some patching around it. But, you know, there's all the positives. I, I'm assuming they're all, you know, all for trickshotting because the perks, they just seem like they go towards trickshotting, like, whatever the perk is for, you know, dead silence. I know, like, the pro perk of it is node fall damage. So, you, you know, you don't have to choose between ninja and commando, like you would in Modern Warfare 2, so that's, that's pretty cool. You got, and then you'll probably have sleight of hand and, I don't know, maybe steady aim. I honestly have no idea what most of the perks are or, you know, what layers they're in. So, um, I guess you guys, you'll just obviously see when that comes out. But, um, some more news about Battlefield 3. I don't really have, like, new news about it, but I know that the, what's it called, uh, beta? I think that comes out on the 9th for people that have Battle and Honor and stuff. And 11th for everyone else, so on the 11th, I will be getting the beta for Battlefield 3, and I'll be posting a lot of gameplays. Um, do you guys have any specific type of gameplays that you want? Do you want specifically Sniper? Um, you just want to kind of see the maps, the jets. Uh, you just tell me what do you really want to see with, you know, Battlefield 3, and I will be, you know, I'll be posting videos, like two to three videos every day about just Battlefield 3, just to get you guys up to date on what seems to be going on in Battlefield and um, hopefully it'll be good because I'm really you know excited for Battlefield because I know Call of Duty has been a kinda game that's like great as soon as you get it but then it's like kinda dies down throughout so you know that's a nice fallback game Battlefield and it'll be a good placement to take over Black Ops until Model for 3 comes out for me so that's that's great um, can't wait for Battlefield. All my friends are telling me it's a great game. So I'm taking their word on it, and I'm oh, definitely going to get it. So, hope you guys are ex just excited I am about Battlefield. And um, if you guys don't know, if you don't have the Medal of Honor Special Edition one, I heard you can still get the beta by pre-ordering Battlefield 3. If you pre-order it, you should still be able to get the beta. Uh, that's what GameStop said. But um, hopefully that helps you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this commentary. And um, if you want more, just... Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will definitely bring you some more stuff later. See you guys.